Hey guys, how you all going? Ian from Aussie Tech Racing here and welcome to another Aussie Tech Vlog. On Monday when we get of course we're gonna get the new dailies, which I'm hoping is gonna be better than last week's because I know everyone loves these longer races, but it gets a bit boring after a while, so I still think that one needs to be a daily race D. Because you only get one race per half hour. I mean hour instead of every half hour. So it makes the rest of the race kind of boring. And this week's new dailies have got um, Le Mans, Red Bull Ring for daily race B, Le Mans, daily race C. I uh, hope it's not the GT1 cars. I did the Hyper Toyota race yesterday and both races I attempted was taken out by idiot drivers. And doing that every night's going to be even more idiot drivers. So I'm hoping it's still going to be GR Force, but we know it's not going to be. Anyway, um, the state of GT7 at the moment, uh, <coughs> and my streaming, mainly my streaming. I did a post on my YouTube, and some guys go, oh, you need to go and do the ATC, that's where it is. I'm, actually, I'm sorry, I actually disagree. I don't, <coughs> depending if they're an ATC-based channel, yeah. But there's a lot of YouTube, there's a lot of GT7 streamers out there who are getting a lot more engagement than me and got less subs. And uh, they're getting more engagement, so I'm sorry, I'm not buying the, oh, it's because you stream GT7 argument. There's a couple of guys there, you know who you are if you watch this back. But yeah, I'm not buying into that, I don't think it is to do with the game. I know some people don't like GT7 anymore. I don't like aspects of the game, it's still my favourite racing game, it's what I like to sit down and race. Uh, ACC is fun, the problem with ACC is that it's, um, to me the performance, it doesn't run very smoothly, it doesn't. It feels like it's running at only at 30, not 60 frames a second, and I just don't enjoy it, and the online racing is just really bad, honestly, they're in, on a console, I'm talking about console, not PC. It runs a lot better on my PC, ACC. It's just that <clears throat> my current setup at home isn't good for that. I'm looking at rearranging that in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for that. But um, my streaming, um, yeah, uh, gonna probably give it a, a miss for a while. I don't know. I might occasionally stream a bit of a race with no chat and stuff. It just feels a bit too, it, it's not, it feels like it's not worth setting up a stream for the lack of engagement that I'm getting. I get a couple of comments and look to you the guys that do come in and talk, I do appreciate that. It just feels like I'm not getting the return for the effort. My sub count is basically stuck around 450 now for the last year. It might go up a, up a little bit. I think we're at the 450, 460 mark, and it just stays there. And I don't want to get thousands of subs, but it'd be nice to get a little bit more and stuff like that. And it just, <coughs> when you get sub, people have it, even half the amount of subs that I do have a lot more engagement. It says to me, I'm boring, you know, I'm not worth watching. I'm <coughs> just a silly B drive. I'm not an A or A plus driver, so I'm not up there winning the races all the time. <coughs> yes, I've had a bit of an anger issue myself, so that's probably scared some people away or just trying to draw them away from so be it. Maybe that's <coughs> what I need to work on. So I have been working on less anger, more clean driving, even if it costs me positions and places and stuff like that. If I've got someone who I, I, I see behind and he's really getting very pushy, I will just let them pass because nowadays, if they're slightly faster than you, they'll just barge part through you. They, they don't have any patience, there's no tactics like in real life. They will just get right on your ass, expect you to get out of their way, and if you don't, they will just drive through you, push you off, you know, it's just... <coughs> and that can happen in any racing game, but people say, oh, you know, it's, just, it's GD7's fault. Now, I've, had, I've seen the same problem in ACC, and I'm even slower in ACC. So even if I was doing that, I don't think it'd be any better. So ACC is probably a more realistic sim. I don't, I'm not denying that. It's definitely got far better engine sounds and real, more choice of real cars and tracks and stuff like that, or in a way tracks. 
But G87 to me is where I want to be and I'm going to stay there. I'm not going to change that. So trying to suggest, oh, you need to go and do this. Or F124, <clears throat> don't do that. F124 is good for offline racing, but the online racing, again, I think the faster the car in a, an online racing is, like Formula One, for instance, because you don't have brake lights or anything like that, so you don't know what the car in front's do, doing. <coughs> Whenever we see the super Formula cars, if you're a little bit <coughs> earlier in your braking and you're not as confident underneath your braking, which I'm one of those, then you tend to get ran from behind because they, the person behind you don't drive to you, they drive to wherever they're braking. So if you're a little bit slow on the braking, they'd slam you up the butt side, backside. They punch you. They probably don't mean to, they just think that you're going to brake a bit later. And when the faster the cars, the more gap you need. So F124 is a bit like that. I've had to go a bit of the F thing, and that's the problem that a lot of people who are a little bit better than the braking brake a little bit too hard but they don't brake as if <coughs> considering to you so they end up ramming you because you've braked a little bit earlier than they're expecting and the faster the car the less more reaction time you need to be able to cope with that so yeah f124 is not bad i might try to do a couple f1 streams i don't know um, i might try some streams during the week where i'm not chatting and making that effort to talk to chat and stuff like that because it doesn't feel like it the other thing, aspect that's not helping with that is the internet hasn't been crash hot, to be honest. It's been a bit bleh, lately. I've been doing streams and it ends for no reason and it's just been not reliable. So it's very hard to stream when the internet's a bit over the place. But the main reason is it's just, just not getting enough engagement and not getting enough people coming in and saying hi. Um, one of the things I love about uh, Stardust Unicorn She'll pop in, she might not stay, but she'll pop in, she'll leave a nice comment saying, hi, living a life, wishing you all the best, can't hang around, see you next time. But at least she makes the effort to come in, leave a like, leave a comment, because that makes no, the person streaming better. So if you, if you guys watch and you leave a like, that's great, but just leave a comment as well to say, hey Ian, all the best mate, can't hang around, got better things to do than watch your sorry ass. But at least saying something means I'm getting some feedback. I know someone's actually watched it, even if it's just a little bit. Even if it's just left a like and you've left straight away. Just That's what, uh, like Stardust, most of the time, it's great. But now, lately, it's just, it's, I'm going backwards. My views are just going down. I'm getting a lot of hate. I'm getting, I'm still getting some bad messages, which I'm just deleting. I don't even really, re you can tell within the first couple words that it's a nasty, comments so I just delete it I don't let them get to me but it does get to me a bit because you know I do suffer some mental issues and at the moment negative things really bring me down I'm just being honest and as such I just don't know if doing any more streaming is worth it even this video uh, it'd be nice to just get a comment just get a Oh, yeah, Ian, you know, I see what you mean, yeah, but, but I'll try my, it's just, some of the videos I've loaded, it might get some likes, but no one's leaving any comments, and it's the comments that makes it worthwhile doing. I'm not on YouTube to try and be famous or rich or get thousands and thousands of subs, I don't want that, but it'd be nice to get some comments on my videos, even if you don't watch the stream after, leave a comment on the stream after, leave a like, yeah, it's great, but leave a simple comment to say hi mate how you going let me know how you're going and uh yeah it would just be very much appreciated but for myself and streaming i just really don't think it's worthwhile doing at the moment hey just me very quickly um adding to this quick little video your daily race a is the honda civic it's actually quite a fun little race actually that new honda civic thing they've added Daily Race B is, by oh, Daily Race A is at Grand Valley, the shorter version. Daily Race B is GR3, six laps. That's actually quite a good race length, actually. And um, that's Red Bull Ring. And Daily Race C is Le Mans and GR1. But this is where I'm going to have a tiny bit of added rant here because they need a massive BOP change to make the GR1 cars fun because it is just that Mazda's 
Um, I mean, you're, I'm doing 330k an hour in the uh, Toyota Hybrid, and the Mazdas are just flying past. It's just way too fast. That race is just ruined by all these old cars. I either need to separate those into two categories for new and old, or do a massive BOP change because I don't like driving those old cars. And so I'll stick with the Toyota Hybrid, but the problem is then you're just at the back of the grid and you just get people ramming you. It's just a complete mess. But please, Polly, if any class needs a massive BOP change, it's GR1 because when that Mazda just drives past like you're stuck in third gear and it just flies past, it's no fun. And I don't want to have to run all those same cars because that's the medica for that one to do something about the BOP. I personally think you need to be um, GR1 and GR1 retro. Get rid of those old cars into their own class because to me it's ruining the fun of the GR1 class. That's just my thought but yeah I just don't like it. I don't like those old cars and I really like how they drive and they should not be racing against the newer hybrid cars so I think there should be two classes and work out the BOP so it's a bit more even then huh? Okay, catch you guys later. Don't wanna hold.